Hi guys, at the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how to get clean quad uh, garments like this that you can use within uh, ZBrush. And since everything is in quads, it's going to be an ideal surface that we can continue sculpting on top of. So if you want to add some more wrinkles or maybe sculpt in some more seams or more details onto our garments, this is probably going to be the most ideal mesh that we can work with because it retains a lot of the detail that was simulated from Marvelous Design as well. The mesh is clean to work on top of and all of these pieces have been separated in case you want to apply separate materials to it. So, so I'll be showing you how to do all of that in this tutorial. Uh, so without further ado guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by showing you a triangulated garment uh, that was exported straight out of Marvelous Designer with some thickness applied to it. And uh, this is usually the, the type of garments that we get out of Marvelous Designer because Marvelous Designer uh, automatically triangulates the meshes for us. And uh, the reason why I tend to not work on meshes like this is because uh, triangles, well ZBrush hates triangles and it's just... Uh, this surface is not really nice to sculpt on. So I prefer to go for something that's a lot cleaner. So this is the triangulated mesh from Marvelous Designer. And now this is the quad mesh from Marvelous Designer. Now you can see it's not 100% perfect, but this is still in quads. And it just makes this a lot easier and cleaner to sculpt on. And this is the ideal mesh uh, that I would work with. I would subdivide this and then do some sculpting on top of this to just... Um, bring some more detail onto it. And then this last one over here is exactly like the first garment, which is the triangulated garment. And I'm going to be showing you that we can actually turn this into quads within ZBrush using ZRemesher. But I'm going to be showing you why I don't use ZRemesher. And I think it's because the algorithm that ZRemesher uses for Marvelous Designer garments is just not ideal. And it actually ends up doing more harm than good for your garment. So Let's get straight to that now. This is the garment from our designer with triangles. So you'll see that um, currently, I think if I smooth, this is going to break apart, right? Okay, it isn't. And again, uh, the reason why this isn't breaking apart, it was actually supposed to break apart. So I'm going to go back to the first state when I actually imported it. You can see over there. And it's breaking apart because the, um, the topology is not welded. So I'm going to weld that. At 14 and I'm going to be explaining this in a little bit why I put this number on 14 but I'm just going to weld this quickly on 14 so it doesn't break apart and now if I Z remesh this you'll see that a Z brush is going to do its best to turn this into quads and um, the garment's not going to break apart because I did click on weld points so just let this process run all right so there we go we've got quads if I turn this back on you can see over here now these uh, blocks are quite large and you can see if I go back to the quad mesh from Marvelous Designer, these quads uh, are actually quite small, but this is because the particle distance was quite high within Marvelous Designer. So if I wanted larger quads uh, that's going to keep uh, the shape of my garment, I would just increase my particle density within Marvelous Designer. So let's go back to this garment. So you created quads, right? Cool. So I could end up uh, subdividing this and sculpting on it. But like I said, I feel like this zero mesher does more harm than good because I've got some problems here. I've got holes in my mesh. All right, this is this is an ideal surface to sculpt on, but I've got holes. Uh, it ends up breaking my garment apart. I've lost uh, some of that, those nice fold details on you. You can see that it ended up smoothing it quite a bit and it's starting to look uh, very puffy and I've just lost quite a lot of detail so you can get quads using zero mesher but like I said it's just doing more harm than good so if I go to my quad mesh that's directly from Marvelous Designer and uh, let me see if this is breaking apart okay it's not breaking apart I've already welded the points uh, at 14 but now if I start dividing because remember it's already it's already in quads right so I can just start subdividing and sculpting on this. So I've already subdivided this to level 4. And you can see that it's still smooth, uh, but it's still retaining some of those nice folds on here. And we've got an ideal surface to sculpt on. So just to show you guys the difference, I'll switch between the two. This is the Ziri mesher with quads using the triangulated mesh. And this is the quad mesh uh, 
just by simply welding points and subdividing. I've got still got all of my detail, all of these nice folds, and I've got an ideal surface to sculpt on. So this mesh that I got here was through a lot of trial and error, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can do this, how we can get uh, this nice uh, mesh edge flow that we can sculpt on, and um, it's definitely this is something you guys should uh, strive for is to work on a mesh that's in quads and not with triangles. And like I said, I, I really wouldn't recommend a, taking a triangulated mesh and using Ziri Mesh because you lose a lot of details, it ends up breaking the mesh, you get these ugly holes, and it's going to give you a headache. So if you guys can get to this state, uh, yeah, it's going to make things a lot more easier for you guys. Clean mesh, you can sculpt on this and still retain quite a lot of detail. So let's get straight into that. I'll show you how to uh, basically export quadrangulated meshes that are ideal for ZBrush and for sculpting. So let's do that in the next part. All right, guys, so it's time to show you my ideal method from uh, for exporting your garments from Marvelous Designer over to ZBrush. And just one thing I want to point out quickly, uh, if you've ever created a garment and you see black areas like this, it just means that the normals are flipped. So all you have to do is go to those pieces on your garment, right click and flip normal. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Just flip these normals. Okay, there we go. And then um, I want to make sure that I'm viewing my garment with thickness. So I go to this icon and you'll see that if I select the entire garment, this is also something that you guys should probably do. Uh, you should apply thickness to your garments. So I'm selecting everything and you'll see here by uh, add thickness, rendering, I put mine on two just so that the garments actually got thickness to it. So you'll see if I zoom in, there's actually thickness applied to this garment. Right, so that's the first thing that I would do. Uh, the second thing that I would do so that I get some nice detail on my garment is select everything and put the particle distance on 10. Uh, so I'm going to do that quickly. I'll just stop this and uh, resume once it's uh, gone through that process and we'll continue from there. All right, so the lower the particle distance, the more detail that's going to add to my uh, to my mesh. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it on 10 and that should be fine. And like I said earlier in the tutorial, whenever we create patterns and garments within Marvelous Design, it automatically triangulates this mesh. So how do we turn this to quads within Marvelous Designer? Now it's really simple. I'm going to select the entire pattern. I'm going to go to Edit, Context Menu, 3D Garment, and then you'll see an option here called Quadrangulate. Quadrangulate. And then we'll just click on that. It's basically going to turn the entire garment into quads. Uh, so you can see over there. And from here, uh, if you want to, we can no, that's putting a wireframe on the model, uh, but it is currently in quads. Uh, so from here, what I'm just going to do quickly is just re-simulate that onto uh, th uh, the model. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you really have to do that, but the process is quick. It's re-simulated and the entire garment is now in quads. All right. All right, so another best practice for me, especially with garments like this, where you have separate uh, pieces uh, that I want to be different materials. Like you can see there's like a sports bra underneath. We've got the jacket. We've got the section over here as well. And I want all of this to be separate materials. So instead of selecting everything and exporting this out, what I do is I'll select individual pieces. So I'll select this pattern, which is just going to be this piece. And I would go to File. Now I'm going to do this for every single piece, right? So we're already done. We've We've, added, uh, we've changed this to quad, so we'll just have, we just have to export this out of MD. So like I said, the best practice, so I can apply separate materials, I'll just select each piece individually. I'll go to Export, OBJ Selected, and I'll go and find my uh, folder. So let me just look for the folder over here quickly, and I'll say Quad Garment, and then I'll say Quad G1 and then click on save and now this next part is really important you want to make sure that you save it as a single object and you want it to be on thick because we apply thickness in marvelous designer and then you want to keep unified uv coordinates this is something really nice to keep uh, selected especially if you're working in key shot and you apply any materials with patterns uh, we can then select the uv coordinates and our patterns are going to uh, basically flow with those UV coordinates and it's going to look really nice 
and then uh, the scale well this would be relative to the scale of the model that you imported into DAS um, into uh, Marvelous Designer and then from here I'll just click on OK and I'm gonna do that for all of these pieces and then we'll move over to ZBrush alright guys so once I'm in ZBrush let's import that garment so I'm just gonna find it quickly on my desktop I'm going to import this piece and you'll get this message the imported mesh contains unused vertices so it's recommended to remove the unused one so I'll click on yes over here I'll click on ok now it doesn't seem to do anything detrimental to the mesh so we should we should be fine and then I'm going to click on the star and then click again and click on import just to import uh, the different pieces into our project Okay, then I'm going to go back to that first piece, go to Subtool and just append all of those separate pieces onto our garment. So now I can drag that out onto the workspla uh, workspace, click on Edit, hide the light box and just put a light material. So there we go guys, if I click on Polyframe, we've now got the meshing quads straight from Marvelous Designer. And I'm holding down Alt and left clicking to select these different pieces. But you can see we've got quads and we are good to go. Alright, so from here, if I click on divide immediately, you'll see that the garment starts breaking apart. So we need to weld these points. So if I go to geometry, modified topology, you'll see there's weld points. Now earlier you saw that this number was on 14, but it's a matter of trial and error. And that number seemed to work well for this garment. Now you guys need to play around until you get something that you're happy with. Uh, but this is for people that... Uh, if this is a really big problem for you, and I'll show you in a bit, but okay, I'm going to select this strap. If I click on weld points right now with the weld distance on 1, that's fine, right? I can go ahead, divide this, and it's still going to be okay. But you'll see if I zoom in here, it starts rounding off uh, these pieces. So in order to prevent this from happening or, happening or to make it less noticeable, so I'm going to undo that. Uh, to make that less noticeable, you have to increase this number. But uh, I felt that going to 14 or anything over 10 uh, seemed to work well. So if I put that on 14 and click on well points, you'll see now that if I click on divide and divide again, uh, the seam line is still a little bit visible, uh, but we're not getting those rounded uh, those rounded corners anymore so that's really good and then uh, if we've just got a seams brush we can come back in here and just draw that seam back on but you can see now everything is clean uh, there's no rounding off and then I'm gonna do the same for the other pieces as well so I'll come to this part of the jacket I'm gonna put my weld distance on 14 hit enter click weld points and I can divide divide and there we go, we can see the garment starting to look nice and clean. Um, we've still got these seams over here. And these seams are visible because uh, I exported this as separate pieces. So it's keeping that seam uh, continuity there as well. And then I just do this for every piece. Uh, play around with that well distance. But like I said, 14 seemed to be a really good uh, number with this garment. There we go. And then this piece as well. 14 enter well points and I can divide so um, like I said we probably still gonna lose some of those seams they'll still be visible but uh, if you guys go to a website called bad king a uh, bad king uh, they basically have these uh, clothing uh, brushes on their website so there's like these seams so I'd usually just select a seam brush uh, increase the intensity and then uh, for areas like this where I lost that seam a little bit, so it's going to require a little bit of post work, but this is how you push your garments, I think, to the next level. I'll just come back here, and again, it's in quads. So since it's in quads, I'll be able to sculpt on there just a little bit easier. So obviously, I'll, if I want that line to be really smooth, I'm going to have to subdivide uh, this piece actually quite a bit. Uh, to get something uh, that's ideal uh, but this is what I do guys this is the method that I use I've still got uh, all of this detail on the marvelous designer garment and it's in quads and like I said I can come on here I can start sculpting let's divide that again I can start sculpting maybe I can even draw some new seams on here so maybe if there's 
some stuff that you couldn't do in Marvelous Designer, you can now uh, do that within uh, ZBrush. So you can have a lot of fun, start drawing your own seams using brushes like this, have a smooth mesh to sculpt on, and you can still retain those details, and you can still have uh, some visible seams in certain areas and in some areas you're just going to have to uh, draw back on them. So this is my workflow from Marvelous Designer to ZBrush guys to have clean meshes and I hope you've learned something useful from this. Uh, this is what I discovered to be my best workflow. So if you've got any questions leave them below and as always guys thank you for watching my tutorials and stay tuned for some more. Alright goodbye.